Hey guys, I'm Guy, and we're capping off the five best moments in season one for Guy's Nest Quest. But first, let me tell you what this is all about. So I just set this challenge for myself for no better reason other than to indulge in stuff that I like. Play and beat every Super Nintendo game ever. So of course, there are rules because this is a society after all. Rule number one, the games have to be licensed by Nintendo. Too many homebrews, too many hacks, too many everything, Hong Kong 97, all of that stuff. So I only have so many years left to live, no brainer. Rule number two, one player or two player, no problem. A little help goes a long way. Rule number three, I'm allowed to cheat or use passwords as long as I've attempted to beat the game for eight hours. If I can't do it in that time period, I'm allowed to use the cheats and passwords as I wish. If I still can't do it, I am allowed to use emulators, save state, and whatever. Again, I only have so many years left, so... Which brings us to rule number four. I use emulators to capture, and I'm fine with that. Why? Because, well, first of all, uh, I have access to the games. Very important. I don't believe in pirating, so... Having access to the games, because I know a lot of people around town that collect games, they have the actual carts, and that's fine. Um, then again, I also don't have any way to capture the game from the console directly. I don't yet have that mean. I can only capture it through a laptop or PC. So that's the major reason I'm using emulators, which brings us back to the save state. But only after 16 hours. I'm not that cheap. So let's talk about the five best moments in season one. Moment number five goes to True Lies and uh, just beating True Lies. Now, I'm not gonna truly lie, but really, this is the hardest game that I've encountered so far. The game is fair because it controls pretty well, though it does, it does take quite a while to get the hang of several different weapons, like the, uh, the pistol handles one way the Uzi another, and so forth. So, you know, just the strafing back and forth, the rolling around, it's, it's not for the faint of heart. But I actually managed to do it. Well, as a reward, you know what? Watch the movie, you deserve it. Beating Lion King's Lava Level. So the Lava Level is not just a tongue twister. The Lava Level is a level that I got to when I was a kid, but I could never beat. I mean, obviously, when you're out of practice, that's the level that's gonna test you. And then level, I think, seven was Hakuna Matata. Uh, the waterfall, oh, the waterfall gets everyone. Which is weird, because I remember as a kid, that was the level that I was relieved to play through. Go figure. Uh, again, I had a hard time now. Uh, and just to make sure that it wasn't luck, I played it once more, and I managed to beat it. And then I got to the famous lava level, and I beat the lava level, but it was weird, because I remember there was a specific part with a rolling boulder that, it, that always got me. I would always die there, I don't know why, I don't know if I got nervous or what happened. But when I was 12, that was the end to me. And the only way that I could beat the game is if I cheated, I went to the options menu and used the Barry code, the B-A-R-R-Y code, and you could choose levels. But this time I, I actually managed to do it and well, I was very, 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 very happy. Number three, Megalopolis on SimCity. So I played SimCity on the PC and it was okay. Then I played 2000 and the bug just bit me. And I, I got it for the Super Nintendo. I didn't even know if it was good or not. I just got it. Problem is, it turns out that apparently it's kind of broken, where the only way to get to Megalopolis is if you kind of glitch through, so to speak, the, the mechanics of the game. You gotta exploit the mechanics. Like you can set like 10 tiles of roads and the whole level will think, uh, the whole game will think that you have proper, uh, a proper amount of roads. Then set, you know, non-connecting straight lines of rail, and uh, you know, stuff like that. It's just totally broken, but I managed to do it. It actually works. Megalopolis will be attained if you do this. And I just saw somebody's tutorial, and if you don't pick the specific map, like if you're missing like three or four land tiles, you're done. You're not gonna be able to pull off the Megalopolis. Number two is Bill Clinton in Jungle Strike. Now this was really funny. If you, I hope you saw my review of Jungle Strike because I mean, I outlined just how ridiculous the whole game is. It's all about cliches left and right all over the place. The coolest president in the history of the world, Bill F. and Clinton. And uh, of course, no surprise, well, sort of. Today I was surprised, I mean, nowadays I was surprised, but back in the day it wouldn't have been a surprise to see Bill Clinton actually in the game. 
I don't remember this exactly. I don't think he's named in the game, but it's totally him. Like it's like the like the, they took a picture and they outlined him or something. It's totally you can totally tell it's President Clinton. And this was an unusual. Like I remember when I saw Contact in the movie theaters. Like it was '97. And then Bill Clinton is in the movie, like, like him. He, they actually took a speech of his from when they decoded the human genome or whatever. And they placed it in the movie to make sense with the discoveries. I'm not going to spoil the movie. It's a great movie. Watch the movie. But Bill Clinton was in there. And everybody just giggled and laughed when they saw him. Like, duh, yeah, right. Like, Bill Clinton is in the movie. Like, I thought it was fine. I thought it worked. It brought realism to the movie. And, well, uh, he was also in Beebs and Butthead to America, which was totally awesome. We get to number one now. Number one is my legit proudest moment as a gamer so far in this whole SNES quest. If you've played Blackthorn, you know the controls are not easy. You gotta get used to them. There's an action and then a button that, that'll switch you back to run mode. And it's not easy to, to sift through both of them in a fast pace. And the last boss, the Sarlacc guy, he was by far, like the most frustrating part of the game. Everything before that was like, oh man, I gotta do this again, I gotta try again, try again, but eventually you'll get it. But this guy, like you really had to time your your movements, your, you know, like one specific attack of his, you gotta step back. Another attack, you gotta jump. Another attack, you gotta roll. And in between all that, you gotta fire a shot. And it, you know, and he has so much health that it's, it'll take you so long and you're about to make a mistake. And there's also these two dogs, two demon dogs above you. And at specific points, they're gonna drop these bombs. And it, it gets really overwhelming. But what I did was awesome. I was nearly dead, as was he. And then I thought, okay, he's gonna fire like a frisbee he does. Uh, and I thought, and I actually had the, the, the reflex to, to think fast and think, okay, I'm gonna step back. No, I'm gonna duck, but it's not gonna work because that doesn't work. You gotta step back with that flaming thing though. So I got up, but I thought quickly, hang on, I got time to pop in the face. And then, you know, instead of wasting time turning around, I actually shot him from behind. Like there's a button that'll make you shoot the shotgun from behind specifically. And uh, that saved that that saved me because if I had turned around, I would have died. So that by far, cool guys don't look at kill shots is by far you know being a final boss too is by far my favorite moment. Well, that's that for season one. Um, I had a blast. I'll be doing season two soon enough. I'm not exactly sure when, but hopefully in a month or so. Uh, there's some videos that I want to do though. Like I really want to talk about soundtracks in video games. I really want to talk about cartoon themes in Italy. You think, what? What's the big deal? You'll see. Uh, Nintendo in Brazil, which is a really complicated story. Uh, a Lion King walkthrough, because a lot of my friends are like, dude, how did you how did you beat that level? How did you beat that level? Dude, like, hey, how did you, can you show me? Dude, like, I'll do a walkthrough. That way everybody can see it. Um, and also, uh, well, for the time being, that's it. I got other ideas, but that's the gist of it. Subscribe, like, and uh, if you want the channel to become bigger, better, faster, there's Patreon. Support us. All right? Take it easy.